most of the time when you get your drone, uh, you're going to have all kinds of pieces. You know, the main frame, and a lot of times you're going to have what's called a power board. And uh, this sometimes will have the lights in it, but it will have these little tabs that you're going to have to solder on your ESCs to, and your uh, power plug, and so many any uh, other auxiliary plugs. Which, like this, has two different auxiliary spots for the FPV uh, equipment there, so that you have your video transmitter with power. So what you want to do is you want to first um, tin all of these. Basically, you just put a little drop of solder on it, and um, that way it's good to go. And what I like to do is I like to get um, my soldering iron kind of warm. Well, actually all the way up to full heat. I generally will turn it all the way up. Some people will say use various temperatures, but I like to go all the way uh, high because that way I only touch down for a second. The longer you keep it on there, the, uh, the more heat that you transfer onto the board and onto the parts. So um, I would recommend, you know, you try out what works for you. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, put a little bit of solder on the uh, soldering iron because you will find that this tends to uh, make the solder uh, go much, much quicker as far as melting. And uh, that way you don't have to leave the solder onto the surface for as long the solder or the soldering iron and, and get everything heated up. So there we got those and then we'll come around to this side. And again, there are two tabs, one for one for each of the ESCs, and um, and you'll you'll find that the solder pretty much flows and stays on these tabs. Now you want to get a little bit of a bead on there. You don't want to get too much on there, but you do want to get a little bit of a bead. Uh, then the next thing you're going to want to do is the exact same thing to the end piece. Now this has already been cut. I've already laid them on there and cut them out using uh, these these uh, dikes here, these basic cutters that are very fine. And then I pulled off probably about an eighth of an inch off the um, end of it for uh, to solder on down to. So again, I'm just going to clean this off. Once you get a lot of solder on there, you definitely want to clean that off a little bit. And um, I really should be getting these things tacked down here holding them like on a, a second arm or something. But what I did there was I just put a little piece of solder on, on each one of these and uh, now it's, it's pretty much set to go. So um, you want to put this down and basically just like that and boom, it's, it's on there. And I'm going to do the same thing with this one here and press it down. And you see how fast that, that solder just works. It just, it basically happens right away. And by having it hot like that and having some solder on the tip and fresh solder, uh, not solder that's been on there for a while, uh, and having solder on this, once you touch it down, it just everything heats and transfers the heat very quickly and solders right to it. And that's the best way uh, for doing the solder, for soldering onto a board like this. So what I will do is I will tin this one up too and get this one ready. And again, a little bit of solder on the soldering iron onto the ESC wires and um, that way that just happens real quick there's not a lot of heat transferred I mean you're still going to get some heat there's no there's no way you're going to avoid heat and I accidentally moved that one a little bit probably wouldn't hurt it but I like to get them dead center if possible and uh, you can tell when your when your joints are done well uh, they will be they'll be this nice shiny little droplet of solder right there and um, so those look good I'm gonna turn this around to this side now and get these set up here and again I'm gonna go ahead and tin this and I'll probably um, cut you know so that you don't have to watch the whole process here and get this moving a little quicker for you but again, make sure that you're, you're soldering, um, you know, the ones, the right ones are going. Like, see, this one is cut for this side. And you notice that one's upside down, one's right side up. So that my positive, the red always goes to the plus. And the negative is, um, oops, my mistake. There it is. See, so I got to figure out which one goes where. This one will go here. 
Oops. Let me try that again. There we go. And now this one is a little bit long. I don't know what I was thinking when I did this, but that's going to need to be a little bit shorter. And I'm just going to trim off a little bit on here like that. And then now I can tin this up, clean off my blade, a little solder on that, right on there. And again, you can see just how fast this actually happens. You just touch it down and boom, it just instantly melts. Once there's a little bit of solder, that transfer of heat, I don't want to say it's instantaneous, but it, it is very, very fast. So now we'll move these guys out of the way here. So now we can put our battery in. Our battery already has um, some solder on it, but you know, I'm gonna put a little bit more only because I like fresh solder on there. Um, and when they come already pre-soldered, uh, you don't really know what solder that is. And if it has the rosin core, if it's, uh, you know, has already the flux built into it. So uh, you want to put your own on there and again. Now this one takes a little bit longer only because it's a much bigger wire. So it takes a second and also takes a second for it to cool down too. And I add a little bit more heat on that one. And there we go. And there it is. You can see that when you have everything ready, uh, you can get your board together relatively quick here. And uh, everything's still a little bit warm, so I'm not going to push it all down. But uh, now you're going to be able to put these all down. You're going to be able to mount this on and uh, set up your motors. And then you're going to solder your motors onto all these little tabs right here. And that's basically uh, introduction to soldering onto the power board.